Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Today, I, I want to talk about something that has also been of very huge interest to me. And I like to look at the story of a particular man. His name is Jehu, the son of Nimshi. And I would like to call this morning's message, Chariots of Judgment. Get down the Chariots of Judgment. Get down of it. You don't need to be on it. You can find this story in 2 Kings chapter 10, 16 and 28. Now, this Jehu, the Bible says it was God who spoke to Elijah and said, go and anoint uh, Hazel, king of Syria, and go and anoint Elisha to be prophet in thy stead, and Jehu the son of Nimshi. So Jehu appeared on the scene. God mentioned his name first. It was God who said, I, know, I have a man, and his name is Jehu the son of Nimshi. That is, Jehu was a good person. God said, I have chosen him to be a leader in Israel. And God said, go and anoint him. So Jehu had oil upon him. And in those days, the whole of Israel was in idolatry. And when Jehu came, Jehu began to weed out idolatry. He broke the altars. He put the people who were in idolatry, he put them to, to, to the sword and killed them. And the Bible said, in 2 Kings chapter 10, he was riding a chariot. Now, Jehu was riding that horse. And at one time, he even spoke to a prophet and said, Come and see my zeal. I am bringing people to judgment. I am judging people. I am making sure that I am removing everything that is not of God. from the, I'm wiping them from the face of the earth. And he was doing it with zeal. He was riding a chariot, extra speed, extra zeal. He was doing that. But then, I found... In the latter verses, that oh, what he was he was judging others with, riding that horse of judgment, those chariots of judgment, he ended up doing the same thing and doing more. He ended up doing the same thing and doing more than those people. The zeal with which you judge people, the chariot of judgment that you ride with zeal, that means you are riding without without grace, you are riding without compassion. You never extend grace to other people. You will end up doing the same thing if grace doesn't abound for you. And here's the thing. The things about people you can't handle with grace, you will end up doing the same thing and doing worse. Many years ago, a very famous evangelist, is dead, powerful evangelist, Billy Graham made a statement when a man of God was in trouble. And when the man of God was in trouble, they asked him, what are you saying? Then he said, the only difference between him and I is grace. If grace doesn't abound for me, I may do worse. I may do worse. Be careful how you ride that chariot judging other people. You are the only righteous one. Yo. You are the only righteous one. Ayo. Why am I saying it? You keep judging others and handling the foibles of other people without grace. You realize that the only reason why you're not doing the same thing. It's because grace is there for you. Listen, sometimes because you have not walked a mile in the person's shoes and because you don't know what the person is going through, you may rise up and judge the person. I've seen it all over. When somebody is somewhere there, hey, I can do better, I can do better. And when you are given the opportunity, hey, hey, you will realize that you will do worse than the person. The mistakes of other people that you handle without grace you will be given an opportunity because you are making a declaration to heaven that given the same opportunity without grace, you can do it. You are better. So heaven will put you to the test. Even the accuser of the brethren, the enemy would accuse you and tell God, this person, the only reason why you are doing it is because of grace. You remove the grace and the person will do worse. Guess what? Learn to handle the foibles of other people with grace so that when your time comes, you will also be handled with grace. And by the way, what you don't handle about other people with grace, the mistakes of other people, 
that you don't handle with grace, you may end up doing the same thing, and I can guarantee you, you'll do worse. Get off your chariots of judgment and walk a mile in their shoes and extend grace to other people. God bless you. See you the next time.